Hi everyone, I'm Ellen Sweeney from tipsforios.com. In this edition, I want to show you how to manage your iCloud storage and backups. When it comes right down to it, Apple only gives you a measly little bit of free backup storage, five gigabytes to be exact. If you have loads of apps and pics, that storage will fill up quickly. So what are you to do? Let's take a look at iCloud Backup and what it does iCloud Backup automatically backs up all your data on your iPhone or iPad. To do this, your device needs to be connected to Wi-Fi, locked, and connected to a power source. Why do we back up? Because it makes it easy to restore a device when you purchase a new one, or are having trouble with yours and need to wipe its data and restore it from a backup. Here's a list of all the items that get backed up to your iCloud storage. As you can see, it's, it's a pretty extensive list and no wonder five gigabytes doesn't seem to be enough. So let's talk about some of the things that you can do to help manage your backups. You can check to see if you have any old iPhone backups located on your phone. And to do that, you're going to go ahead and launch settings and then scroll and tap on iCloud and then tap on storage and then here you'll tap on manage storage once you get to manage storage you will see all the things that are backed up so you'll see your iCloud photo library your iPhone and if you have an iPad it also will be there and you'll also have all of your documents and data. If you have an old iPhone backup, you can delete that. And how you'll tell if it's old or not is if you can see my iPhone backup right underneath it, it says this iPhone, meaning the iPhone I have opened is the iPhone that's being backed up. And it will tell you that this is the iPhone that you're using. So. If you have an old iPhone, so if you see two iPhones there, you can probably delete one of them. And to do that, you're just gonna tap on the device that you wanna delete. And it's gonna go through and pick up everything that you're backing up, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll tap on delete backup. And then you'll tap on turn off and delete. I want to caution you for, before you do this. You want to make sure that you're deleting the old backup, not the one that says this iPhone. So if you don't see any old backups, don't delete anything. If you don't see any old iPhone or iPad backups, I still have a few tips that may help you manage your storage. You could stop backing up your photos library or go through your photos and videos and delete those you don't need. To do this, you're going to go to settings, you're going to scroll, and you're going to tap on photos and camera. And up at the top, you're going to turn off the toggle switch where it says iCloud Photo Library. Personally, I wouldn't recommend this. You know, your photos are your prized possessions, and Apple does a pretty good job of keeping them safe in the cloud. Keeping your photos stored in the iCloud photo library allows you to restore them to a new device, or if you need to wipe your old device clean, it allows you to restore them, and your photos will all come back to your device. Another option that you have is to turn off some of the apps so that they won't back up to the cloud and take up space. So to do this, tap on settings in the upper left hand corner and then scroll up to iCloud, tap on iCloud, tap on storage, tap on manage storage, and then tap on the device that you'd like to turn off the apps takes a couple of seconds to load the apps and when your apps are loaded you could go through and just turn off any of the apps that you feel like could be taking up too much space in your backups. The last option and the one 
I always recommend is buying more storage. For 99 cents a month, you can purchase 50 gigabytes of storage. And for many of you, that will be plenty. It's well worth the peace of mind knowing that your devices will be backed up and you won't lose any data if something catastrophic happens. To do this, you're just gonna tap on Manage Storage in the upper left-hand corner, and then tap on Storage. And then at the bottom, you'll see where it says Change Storage Plan. That's because I've already purchased the 50 gigabytes, which you can see where it says Total Storage. If you have never bought storage before, it'll say Buy More Storage and you'll go ahead and you'll tap on that. And when you do, Apple will give you um, the tiers that they have available. So if you have lots of photos, you may wanna spend $2.99 a month and, and get the 200 gigabyte. For some people, you know, they might want the $9.99 a month for one terabyte, but I can guarantee you that spending 99 cents a month will give you the peace of mind to know that all of your data is being backed up to the cloud and you don't have to worry about it. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Tips for iOS.